Okay, guys, so now it's the next morning, and we had the announcement for Leisure Day. It still says my girls are supposed to be working today. Still don't know if that's true or not. I kind of don't believe it myself. Kind of hoping that uh, we do get the day off. Because my girls both want to go get tattoos, and I would love to go get them matching tattoos before the wedding. That would be so cute. And they need to get something to eat and wash up. Plus, Lola does need to work on her painting today. And Brick can work on her book. I thought, thought for sure Lola would be the one waking up first. But she is so knocked out. Mm-mm-mm. Slow poke. <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious if it's really going to make them go or not. They, she also wants to go to the summer festival. Um, I mean, we'll have to wait and see if we get that time off. She got some job experience. She, she almost next way to a promotion. Is there anything else that can help us with the kids stuff? Especially like, you know, profession stuff. Boost, yes. We're not gonna use these points for money anyhow, so it doesn't really matter. Um, is there anything that can help her here with her artistic expression? Cause her whole thing is her painting stuff. So I'm just wondering. I don't see anything at these lower tier levels. I don't even think faster learning is until, like, you have 15k points. So we're going to have to wait till she get more points to buy stuff. But at least this will help her with her job. So she'll get a, a larger serendipity a week. So now she's getting 120 instead of 100, which she was getting before. I mean, $20 more a week. I mean, I it adds up. Maybe we'll get more per child as well. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, I think we got 120 each child. Oh, dang it. No. Great. Now we got to call repair technician and get that fixed. That's money out of the pockets. Just when I was feeling like we were about to start, like, actually making some money, getting some stuff done. Um, okay, so it says that Brit's not working for four days. And Lola doesn't have to go to work till tomorrow. So then we are definitely going out. Um, let's see. Yeah, you get more points for the tattoo. So as soon as Lola is done getting all cleaned up and whatnot, we are going to go out. We're going to go get the tattoo. The repairman know how to let himself in. She wants to learn some guitar. Both my girls want to do guitar things. Like, um, we just have to wait a little bit. I was wondering if bills were going to come, but apparently not. Anyway, as soon as Lola's done, we're gonna hop in the car. Oh, there's the bills. Dang. We just paid bills yesterday. I was hoping we get like regular mail. Like, can't we get like some nice notes in the mail? Please. Pretty please with cherries on top. Anyway, after we get the bills and whatnot, we're going to this fair. It's kinda early, but I ain't worried about it. Our friends are next door. We could invite them to come too since it popped up. Like, hey, invite your friends. But like, I don't know. I kind of want them to spend the day kind of like, you know, to themselves. Even though we love our best friends and whatnot. Uh-oh. She made eyes at the repair woman real quickly. Ah. Lola, what are you doing? I mean, I know you're eager to work on your art, but why are you doing it in a puddle of dirty dish water? Yes, please stand, honey, please. Come on, let's go to the fair. Let's have some fun. We'll go to the fair for like an hour or two, play a couple of games, maybe get into a hot dog eating contest or a pie, whatever it is you do in summer. It's some type, it involves some type of food going into your mouth all around your face. And then after that, uh, we'll go get our tattoos and stuff too. Yeah, you finished cleaning up? Cool. Bookstore's having a sale? Okay. It said complimentary something. I don't know what that said because I clicked it off too quickly. Wanda sounds awful when she drives. We, we got to get a new car. That's another thing on the list of things that are going to have to wait till we have more money, though. Um, so let's see. So there is the contest. Now, I don't know what that is. Is that pie or is that hot dog? That's hot dog. Let's do the hot dog eating contest then. Come on, Britton Lowe. Is anyone going to join us? I don't know. Is anyone, is anyone brave enough to join us? I don't know. Ugh. Heather. Why today? The last person that Brittany would want to see is Heather. Heather is her 
former best friend. Hopefully, Heather will leave us alone because we're not interested in talking to her. She's not actually coming over here, is she? she she's staring us down. Keep walking. Keep walking. You don't want these troubles. Oh, you want to get some photos taken? Yes, we have to do that. May the best woman win. Who's going to be better at swallowing these hot dogs? Let's see. Oh, Brittany, you're choking. You're choking. Lola, I'm surprised. Come on, Lola. You got this. Brittany, you going to let her beat you like that? Come on, Britt. <laughs> Oh, Brittany look like she got this one. She choked in the beginning, but she came back strong. Brittany, come on, Brittany. I was rooting for you, Brittany. Brittany. Brittany did it. Okay, Brittany came through. Go, Brittany. Now, I hope this don't make her sick or anything like that. I don't want her to get sick. Pool party invite. Wait a minute. Brittany's mom... Is inviting him to a pool party? Oh, well, she's inviting just Brittany, not Lola. I mean, I kind of commend her mom for trying to reach out to her daughter, but not including Lola is a really bitchy move. But should we go? I don't know if we should go to the party, though. I just don't feel like it'd be comfortable. Because I don't want Lola to be uncomfortable. So, no, we're not going to the party. If they want to, like, start mending fences, we'll have to do it on our terms. Oh, no. Did the hot dogs make her sick? They made her sick. Oh, I'm sorry, Lola. It's okay. Let it out. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we got some free hot dogs. I mean, I don't want them. Can, can I take them to our fridge really quickly? Um, there we go. At least the hot dog won't go bad. Did we win, like, a whole thing? Wait, what's this? Ancient to advance. I know. She's, like, career obsessed right now. But come on, we're working on building a family, getting married and stuff right now. Trust me, there will be plenty of time to get your career started. Let's go take a family photo together. I know Lola's, like, all nauseous and stuff now. But uh, we still look good. Still cute. Always. Every day. Anyway, so we can't see the picture yet. In fact, yes, we can. I'm going to take us back to the house real quick, and I'm going to hang that up on our wall so we can see what this picture looks like. Because you know me, I'll be like, I'll show you the picture, and then I'll never show you the picture because I forget. It's not my fault, though. There we go. Oh, right on her desk. That's so cute. Okay, so there's sunny, tropical picture. They look sweet and adorable together. Uh, maybe they'll get to go to a beach for their honeymoon. I'm thinking sunlit tides. And Island Paradise is so glitchy and laggy. So, I don't know. I'm thinking sunlit tides for a honeymoon. I think that would be awesome. In fact, sunlit tides would be a nice place to live. I'm just saying. Um, you know, everyone looks like they're having so much fun skating. I want to skate. Let's go skate. We'll go skate and then we'll go get our tattoos and then head on back home. See, compromise. We will get some work done, though. Come on, Lola. Don't act like you don't skate. Brit phone going off. That's probably her mom being like, hey, are you coming to the party? And we're going to be like, sorry, we're ignoring you. Oh, careful, girls. I... Spin with Lola. Come on. You got it, girls. Here we go. You guys are doing awesome. Oh. Wait, oh, no, no. Oh, oh. Well, they were doing awesome. Okay, I think they're done skating now, though. I think now is definitely time to go and get them their tattoos. Um, So where's the tattoo place again? Okay, it's over here. Go here with Lola. Yeah, see, everyone's falling. Somebody's going to break, like, a hip or something. Uh, it looks like Heather's coming back this way. Well, we're leaving. We are not interested in seeing her. Lo, get on the skates. We're getting out of here. Lola just needs to get back to Princess so we can go get these tattoos. I don't know what style of tattoo I want to get. We'll figure it out when we get there, though. 
All I know is I want them to get matching tattoos and who's... Oh, my God. Are you serious? Is this just the day of running into people who we don't fuck with? Like, Ryan's here. Oh, my God. He's still with Mary Beth. Oh, and they just graduated. Well, good for them. Have to admit, still don't like them. Uh, number one, it's dark as hell in this place. Turn on all lights and make them all white. There we go. Now it's brighter, and now we're gonna make it intense. Bright for all lights. There we go. I'm just gonna have her look around at stuff while she gets her tattoo done. She can look at this and be like, oh, there's so many options for tattoos. I'm just not sure what I want right now. There's so much art, and everything is just so lovely. And Lola's about to go get this tattoo. Maybe they should both get something on the opposite shoulder or something. I don't know. We'll see. She has so many tattoos. <laughs> really. Honestly, if you want to know, like, fun fact, she actually has a tattoo of Britney on her arm. And, of course, she's no stranger to tattoos, so this isn't bothering her at all. Take it like a champ. I wonder how Britney's gonna react to her tattoo, though. <laughs> okay, so number one, before I even pick a place to put the tattoo, I just wanna see what tattoos could kind of represent the both of them. So I'm looking at the tattoos, and honestly, like, the ladybug is the cutest little tattoo. I'm kind of liking the ladybug. Now it all depends on where I'll put the ladybug. Ladybug on chest, maybe? Like, it doesn't have to go in the middle of the chest. It can go on, like, the side of the chest, right? For, like, ladybug. And we want cute little ladybug. So let's adjust it a little bit, because it's not on center right now. I can't... Okay, we saved the tattoo pattern so they can get pretty much the same tattoo. Uh, the opaqueness might be a little bit different. The size might be a little bit different. But either way, I think it looks good, though. Teeny tiny ladybug tattoo. It's cute. And now it's time for Brittany to go get hers done. There we go. Finished up her tattoo. She wants to go fishing, collect more carnival tickets, buy the guitar. We know, we know. Anyway, we pretty much just want to get the same tattoo as her, so it shouldn't be that difficult to replicate. Oh, I kind of figured. This is Brittany's first tattoo, so I'm not shocked that she's a little bit nervous. I'm about to go get my first tattoo, like, in a couple of weeks, I'm hoping. In fact, uh, I'm really hoping to get it sooner than that, but we'll see. I don't know. Okay, let's go get inked. She was all panicky and freaking out and stuff, but it was kind of adorable, though. She was like, oh! It's like, it's, it's a tiny tattoo. It's, it's, it'll be over really quickly. Now let's just adjust it so it looks as close to Lola's tattoo as possible. Is that it? That kind of looks like it. Yeah, there we go. Should she, um, surprise Lola by getting another tattoo? So when Brittany first met Lola, all she could think is, who is that girl with the bright blue hair? You know what I mean? So let's get closer to it. Obviously, we want to make it like as close to looking as like Lola as possible. I mean, we should make that like a darker purple. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh my gosh, her tattoo looks awesome. Her, I love her tattoo. Yes, yes, I love it. Finally, she got her first tattoo. Now I wish we gave her something naughty like a tramp stamp. <laughs> And when she got her tattoo done, they came out great. Um, she got all nervous for nothing. Was Mary Beth about to go and sneak up on Lola? She better not play that game. She'll get smacked. Where is she going? What is she doing? She's so weird. Ugh, and Ryan's here. Ugh. I'm just really sick of the both of them. Ha ha! Well, I guess you two are still annoying the hell out of each other. Glad you two ended up together. You deserve each other. I think we had a good day out. We ate some hot dogs, took some family photos together, got matching tattoos. We did get the invite from Brittany's parents to go see them, and we turned it down. But I don't feel that bad about it, honestly. I mean, hey, we invited her parents to be a part of her life and to come to the wedding, and they were like, no. So what do they expect for us? 
And they only invited Brittany. They didn't invite Lo, which was really selfish. Maybe her pants will come around and start warming up to Lola, but clearly it's not today. And totally on purpose. So anyway, the girls are ready to go on home, so we'll meet them there. Maybe I'll try and be nice and invite her parents over for dinner one day so they can try and start bonding with Lola. Because rather they like it or not, Lola is going to be a part of this family. And Woo-hoo! soon. Yeah! So I want Lola to actually start working on her painting again. And I want Britt to get back on the computer and start writing her book. So we need a new novel. Should we do a trashy novel? I kind of like trashy. Or drama. <gasps> I love drama. Let's do drama. I won't have them work on it for too long because I know that uh, even though Brittany doesn't have to go to work and do anything tomorrow, that Lola has to wake up early. Britt's just going to have to be sitting around the house reading, you know? She'll probably run out and do a few things. Oh, hmm. uh, Brittany's phone constantly goes off. This is why she can't get any work done. Oh, her mom. We missed you at the party. Hopefully you can make it next time. Yeah, mom. We'll um. see. Anyway, this is Brittany's first book she wrote. Put it in the bookshelf. I just still can't believe her parents are acting like they don't know mm. what they're doing. And that they don't understand how rude it is to exclude Lola from family activities when she is about to be a part of this family. I guess it hurt their pride or their ego or something. Whatever it is, they need to get over it for the sake of their daughter and their future grandchildren. Because that's happening too. Either way, Lola's paintings are coming along great. This one looks like it's going to be a masterpiece when she's done. And I can't wait for her to show it at her art show. Just going to fast forward a little bit because I know she's almost done. Oh, she just wrote the first chapter of her Attacked by Cougars Mm -hmm. book, $27. That's not bad. Lola, you almost done with the painting, hon? I mean, honestly, it already looks good and it's not finished. So I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's actually finished. Okay, it looks like her meter is full. Okay, wow. $846, $846, it looks really good, too. Let's put it into our inventory. She can go, like, do everything later. We're going to just let the girls go on to bed right now. And uh, I think they had a really great day. So we'll be back with them in the morning. So here's the art gallery. It's not too far from the house, thank goodness. $640, that's a steal. We'll take it. We have a lot of enemies, but we do have some friends, so let's focus on that. And what about the haters? Because sometimes I feel like it's nice to have haters around you. Listen, if you don't got haters, you ain't you ain't doing it right, okay? Sometimes people got hate. So let's invite hateful ass Heather. She's actually talking to her dad. I'm so happy for her. Because her and her dad, they have a strained relationship too. 